Melbourne because Melbourne had my dream course pretty much, which was arts. That gives me the opportunity of play around with so many areas that I love. Well, my ultimate goal is to just become a published writer. I just want to write novels. I just have a few ideas, not really, really sure yet. So it's good that I still have a few years to figure it out. Well, I chose the University of Melbourne basically because of the course, the environments course. I like the freedom it offered because in the first year you have that, um, that option to study a broad range of disciplines and then after you can choose in your second year what major you plan to choose and you're more in focus with what you know, your major is going to be about. So it's been, it's been intense but it's, it's satisfying. Hopefully I can get a job with an architecture firm, get, gain some experience, yeah, that would be good. I had no idea what I wanted to do when I was 18, like most 18 year olds. I didn't originally intend to be going down this path, but uh, I just sort of uh, had a taste for IT in my first year and then since there it's, uh, it's carried all the way through till I've got a, a graduate job with, uh, within the IT field. The University of Melbourne always has a pretty good reputation. I think in all honesty the biggest thing would have been the, the general Melbourne degree. Uh, just the fact that it did buy me a few more years to decide was, uh, was yeah, absolutely invaluable. I started off studying um, a Bachelor of Biomedicine for my undergraduate degree. Um, and I did a major in physiology for that one, which you decide once you've started, you decide what you want to major in. And then I um, started a graduate degree in medicine. I would say it's better than I expected. I knew it was going to be a lot of work, and it is a lot of work, but I didn't expect to enjoy it so much. It's just really exciting thinking about where you know it's going to lead to. So, yeah, it's good. I picked the university for a number of reasons, mostly when I decided to make the change in sort of midlife to law, I really wanted to have a, an amazing degree. I've worked really, really hard. It was always my aim to get the most out of this experience. And so I've spent a lot of time in the library upstairs, um, but I've also made a, a group of friends that I'll have for the rest of my life. I've enjoyed uh, human rights law. I've enjoyed international law. Um, but I've also loved property and international, uh, intellectual property and yeah, the oddest things you suddenly find you're interested in. I'm going to Melbourne because of the open day. It was like so much fun as well. Open day was useful because it really, um, it really gave me an insight into how the university worked, the atmosphere of the campus and also got to speak to some of the staff and the current students who were studying in that year. And if you're coming to Open Day, which absolutely you should, because that's when you can ask, you know, what was the course like, or how many hours do you study, or, you know, is it harder than high school? The sort of things that you absolutely want to know before you start. You got freebies and you had fun activities to do and you got to meet a few people that actually were already students. I've met a lot of uh, students, high school students, who are thinking about law and trying to design the path to law. So getting to talk to somebody about that, I think that's an incredibly valuable thing. It's really great to just talk to the course advisors and really get this inside info about what it is all about, so you know that's something that you really want to do. So the moot court totally is designed to, uh, so that you can practice being a barrister, basically. On like the open day, I believe you can come and see students and they'll, uh, they'll be doing a moot. Come along, uh, it can be a bit daunting because obviously university is a lot bigger than high school. There'll be a lot more people around, but uh, you know, come ask as many questions as possible. Uh, you know, even if you have a, the slightest interest in a field, come find out more about it. A good chance for even people who are studying now to go and check out, you know, postgraduate and further study options. To make the most of Open Day, you should really plan it and plan ahead. Um, look at the course guide, plan where you're, gonna, where you're going to go on campus, because it is a very large campus. Ask questions about the course, what subject requirements you'll need to have. So go to the Open Day website, you get to choose whatever activities you want to do that day. So definitely check that out and be prepared so you have more time to enjoy and have fun.